Today we're making small batch cheesecake. And instead of using a nine inch springform pan, we're gonna use this nine by five, a loaf pan. It's the perfect amount of cheesecake for two to four people. We're gonna to top it with a delicious strawberry sauce, but I've got lots of other ideas for you too on what to put on top of it. So make sure you stay tuned to the end. Join me in the kitchen as we make small batch recipes with big taste. For a cheesecake, we're gonna start with a graham cracker crust. Now we're gonna use one cup of graham cracker crumbs, which is seven sheets of graham crackers. And I've just taken my little trusty food processor here. Um, you could use a blender, you could smash them up by hand. And I have got a cup of graham cracker crumbs in my bowl. All right, we're also using our trusty little recipe sheet today. If you um, want more information on these, a lot of my recipes are available printed on recipe sheets. You can find that link down below. And into our graham cracker crumbs, we're gonna put a tablespoon of granulated sugar and two tablespoons of melted butter. And then we're just gonna go ahead and mix this up until it kind of resembles a nice wet sand consistency. And this is gonna, like I said, gonna be the base of our um, Cheesecake. Now, if you want, if you don't have graham crackers, you don't like graham crackers, you could totally use some other kind of cookie. Uh, an Oreo cookie would be really good or a chocolate wafer cookie, um, a vanilla wafer. You could use, you know, whatever kind of cookie you have would be yummy. All right, we got that all mixed together. Okay, we're gonna put our crumbs into our pan. And like I said, we're using a nine by five loaf pan. If you don't have a loaf pan, you could use a six inch springform pan. Um, you just wanna be able to kind of, with a springform, springform pan, you can remove at the bottom, which makes it easier to serve. And with our loaf pan, in order to get it out, I am lining the bottom. I've just cut the corners out with some parchment paper. So it's just easy to lift that right out of there. So let's go ahead and put our crumbs in. And then we're just gonna go ahead and pat them down into a nice, even layer. And then let me check my recipe sheet. I think it is 350 degrees for about 20, 25 minutes, maybe until your crust starts to turn golden brown around the edges and it's gonna smell yummy. And while our crust bakes in the oven, we're gonna combine our cheesecake filling. And for that, we are going to use two eight ounce bricks of cream cheese. You want your cream cheese at room temperature for a couple of reasons. First of all, it is going to incorporate all the ingredients that are gonna incorporate easier and better. And you're just gonna get a smoother cheesecake. So let it set up for a couple hours before you are ready to make your cheesecake. Now I always use a regular um, cream cheese. I don't use any of that low fat uh, cream cheese. So full fat all the way. So we're going to go ahead and just cream this up for a minute. All right. Into our cream cheese, we're going to add three quarters of a cup of sugar. We're going to add one egg teaspoon of vanilla and then the zest of one lemon or depending on the size of your lemon I'd get about a teaspoon of lemon zest and then we're going to cut our lemon in half too and then just squeeze I think it says about a half a tablespoon of lemon juice in just a little bit it's going to give that cream cheese just a nice fresh flavor then we're going to go ahead and mix all that up till it's all incorporated and nice and smooth well, our cheesecake is baking in the oven. We're gonna make that yummy strawberry sauce that we're gonna put on top. And I have got a cup of just whole sliced strawberries. We're gonna add in there. Um, we're gonna add in a quarter cup of granulated sugar. I have about a half of a teaspoon here of um, lemon zest. I just zested up a lemon. And then this is gonna just kind of pop, give those strawberries a real fresh flavor. And then about a half of a, teaspoon, a little squirt there of lemon juice. Let me grab a spoon and we're gonna mix that up and um, get all that sugar dissolved in there. And then we're gonna put it over a medium high, medium heat, bring this to a boil, let it boil for about 10 minutes or so. And as it boils, those strawberries are gonna break down. We're gonna take our spoon and just kind of smash some of the strawberries uh, against the side of the pan and it is going to thicken up and become a yummy strawberry sauce. So our graham cracker crust is cool. Now, I think I told you to bake this for 20, 25 minutes. Yeah, way too long. Um, seven to eight minutes. Always go by the directions down below in the description because sometimes I 
just say weird things when filming the video. So we're going to bake for just seven, eight, maybe nine minutes until it's just starting to turn, turn golden brown around the edges. Then I let it cool. And then we've taken our cream cheese mixture that we beat up. Now you want to make sure you don't over mix this too much. Just mix it till it's nice and smooth. You don't want to put a lot of extra air into it because that air is going to then cause the cheesecake to fall as it bakes. So just mix it together till it's nice and smooth and all incorporated. Go ahead and smooth that down on the top. And then let me check my trusty recipe card here. We're gonna bake it at 350 degrees for about 35 to 45 minutes. So how do you tell if a cheesecake is done? So a cheesecake is done when it's still just slightly jiggly in the middle. It's okay to have a little jiggle. You just don't want a lot of jiggle. But then you can also see that the edges are beginning to set. And you don't want the top to turn like brown because that means it's overcooked but it may just start to set and turn just a slightly golden brown around the edges All right, our cheesecake has finished baking i did let it cool in the refrigerator for a couple of hours um, so we're just gonna lift it right out of our pan see how easy that lifts right out and it is ready to eat, but we are gonna to top it with some of that strawberry sauce that I made. Now, a few other ideas of things you could top it with would just be some fresh berries, um, some chocolate syrup, some hot fudge sauce, some caramel sauce, some lemon curd. You could basically put anything on top of the cheesecake. So I like to take it and just slice it into four pieces. Let me show you this strawberry sauce. It's so yummy. I'm just gonna take it here and spoon it over the top and then it is ready to enjoy. Now, don't forget, see the, my little binder back there and our recipe sheets. If you want, let me grab it here, a printable, a printed copy of the recipe. These recipe sheets are available and you can find the info down below. But as always, you can find the complete recipe in the video description down below and check out some of my other small batch dessert recipes and I'll see you in the next video.